My interest in redesigning prenatal care really came about from my experiences with patients during my residency. I was taking care of a medically and socially at-risk population, and I noticed a pattern in how my patients were coming to care. They would present for their first visit, come diligently until their anatomy scan at 20 weeks, complete their diabetic screen at 24 weeks, and then not come to appointments until close to delivery. And when I asked them why they weren't coming, they had reasonable answers. They were facing significant barriers to care. And so this made me start thinking about how we were delivering prenatal care and how it might be better designed to meet patients' needs. The need for flexibility was exacerbated by the pandemic and we quickly were able to transition these ideas of how care could be into reality. We did a large survey at Michigan Medicine and all of that work pointed to the need for a more flexible model of prenatal care both for visit number, but also for visit modality. And we created this new model, an individual patient pathway right from the beginning of pregnancy. That pathway has three components. First is the visit modality. Do patients want their visits in person or a combination of in person and virtual? The second is the visit frequency, how often those visits are conducted. And then finally, what support services do patients need on their journey? The new guidelines help us to address the aspects of prenatal care that we are struggling with right now, making sure that patients' preferences are met, that we're delivering care in a way that makes sense for them, that we're helping to address social determinants, which we know impacts what happens both inside the clinic and outside. This new model really codifies those questions that we've had and helps us to deliver care individualized for patients.